What's up guys, welcome back. The holiday season is in full swing and if you're looking for something extra special to add to your dinner table, I have just a thing. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious garlic butter lobster mashed potatoes. We're gonna make sure these potatoes reach their full potential with roasted garlic, lobster claw meat, boars and garlic and herb cheese, all the flavor in the world. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Today we're going with russet potatoes, but you can use Yukon gold or red, literally whatever potato you like. We got some heavy cream, we got some sour cream, we've got some Kerrygold butter, the star of the show, which are the lobster claws that we got on sale today at our local grocery store. We got a head of garlic, we got that boars and garlic and herb cheese, and we got some Parmesan. All right, we're gonna get the party started with a little roasted garlic. For that, you need one head of garlic. We're gonna cut the end piece off. We're not gonna throw that away though, that's going in our foil as well. You wanna peel some of this skin away to expose as much garlic as possible. That way it gets nice and tender. It gets coated in that olive oil and seasoning. So just peel it back a little bit like you see right here. We will get rid of that but no garlic left behind. The next thing you're gonna need is a strip of foil. Go ahead and throw your garlic in there. Hit that with some olive oil or avocado oil, whatever you got. A Little salt and pepper, or in this case, we're going down with some of my AP seasoning. Wrap it nice and tight in that foil. Pop it in a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. All right guys, so we've gone ahead and peeled and cut our potatoes. You want them in a you know, relatively small size pieces. The smaller they are, the faster they'll cook. Also remember guys that potatoes are a root vegetable, so it's very important to clean them thoroughly. So I'm gonna take my chopped potatoes, add them to the pot. We're gonna clean them off with some water, make sure the water runs clear. And then we're gonna boil these bad boys in some chicken broth. So we're gonna boil these potatoes in chicken broth for a little added flavor. You can also just use water with some salt. You just wanna make sure you get some flavor on those potatoes, guys. Especially for the holidays, everything's gotta have adequate flavor or your relatives will talk bad about you. All right, guys, so in a skillet over medium heat, we're gonna go ahead and melt about a half stick of butter. At this point, we're gonna prep our garlic butter lobster that's going into our lobster mashed potatoes. All right, so once the butter is partially melted, we're going in with that roasted garlic. Once you roast it nicely like so, you can see it just kind of mashes up and dissolves into the butter. There's tons of flavor in that. Again, guys, this is the perfect recipe for the holidays or for a special occasion. And honestly, with the way crab and seafood prices are right now, sometimes you can find lobster as one of your most inexpensive choices, which is crazy to think about, but crab prices have gotten so high that lobster might be the more cost efficient choice. So once that garlic is in there with the butter, we're going in with the lobster meat. You can use claw, tail, knuckle, whatever floats your boat. This is claw. I like to leave big chunks in there so you can see it. You know it's real lobster. If you wanna break some of them up, that's cool too, but you wanna leave some nice sized chunks in there. We're gonna toss that around, let that soak up some of that garlic butter. Just for the hell of it, we're gonna hit it with a little parsley for some fresh herb flavor, nice pop of color. And then bring even more flavor to the party, we're going in with some lemon bay seasoning, or you can hit it with a little Old Bay Cajun seasoning, Tony's, whatever you're into, lemon pepper. Get crazy and add whatever flavor you like. The lobster's already cooked, guys, so we don't want this to be in here too long. We just wanna give it a second to absorb all that flavor and warm up a bit. So that's what we're looking for. And I'm letting you know right now your house is gonna be smelling absolutely amazing. 
All right, guys, so while we wait for those potatoes to get tender in that chicken broth, we're gonna get started on our cream mixture for our mashed potatoes. We're gonna warm a skillet over medium heat. To that, we're gonna add some butter, followed by our heavy cream or half and half. To that, we're also gonna add some boars and garlic and herb cheese. You guys know how I feel about that. If you haven't tried that in your mashed potatoes yet, then do yourself a favor. Your next trip at the grocery store, go ahead and grab that from the specialty cheese section. Next up, we're going in with two tablespoons of sour cream, and then we're gonna season this to taste with my all-purpose seasoning or just a little salt and pepper now we want to bring this cream mixture to a simmer to allow everything to combine and incorporate make sure you taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference as always guys the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below so make sure you check that out and now my friends it's time for your forearm workout so break out that old school potato masher the way grandma used to do it and get in there and mash those potatoes I personally like my potatoes to be a little bit lumpy when I'm making this dish, but if you want yours super smooth, then you can use something like a potato ricer, or you can use one of those hand blenders. The consistency of your potatoes is really a matter of personal preference, so make them as smooth or as lumpy as your heart desires. Once you got it right where you want it, we're gonna start adding that cream in a little bit at a time. Make sure you mix and fold everything together. Again, tasting as you go, make sure you adjust the flavor to your preference. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't get too aggressive on the seasoning because remember guys, we're gonna top this with all that lobster and butter and all the flavor from earlier. Also, I like to chop up a few pieces of lobster and sneak that into the mashed potatoes as well. That way you got lobster meat throughout your mashed potatoes. The first time I ever tried this recipe was at a steakhouse Mastro's in DC super delicious guys and now you can make it at home for way cheaper so as you can see we've gone ahead and worked in that lobster meat into the mashed potatoes this is the consistency that i like again adjust the consistency to your preference let me know in the comments if you're team lumpy or smooth mashed potatoes and now my friends it's time to plate this up we're gonna go ahead and add the mashed potatoes to a family style serving bowl top that with the beautiful lobster meat that we have and all of that butter because why the hell not we're here for a good time not a long time i'm gonna garnish this up with some freshly shaved parmesan cheese and some diced chive and the only thing left to do is get in here for a taste test but before we do that please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well Now, my friends, for my favorite part of the job, I'm going in for the taste test, AKA the moment of truth. We got some lobster, we got some mash. Here we go. 